after the Avengers came out. To the yeah, biggest... bombed. Fucking bomb. Stop making comic book movies. They bomb. It's clearly it's over, right? The trend is done. It's done. Done, folks. You know where they really hurt in ticket sales? Yep. That bullied kid didn't show up to the premiere. I know. They offered him. He was clearly invited, and he just didn't show. Begged him. <laughs> yeah, please. Wouldn't go. Please. No, I don't want to see this movie. Thanks. No thanks. I don't want to see it. You saw it, right, Travis? So good. It was you just, liked it, it huh? Was wonderful. Loved it. Were they Avengers? Do I need to see anything before this, or can I just go see it? Like, are there the, any movies that came before this one? But yeah, I mean, this is actually the first Marvel movie. Where I wouldn't. Is there anything I need to see that is a sequel to something, or, or is the Iron Man doing things? Uh, there's nothing you need to see. Uh, see you next Tuesday. <laughs> oh, you got him. You got him. <laughs> He got you, All dude. Right, Travis. So we go. I hate this. It's gonna be May. Teft comment. <laughs> you know what today is, right, Travis? Uh, What's the date? Check the calendar. It's like April 30th, right? Incorrect. Check I like again. dicks. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking over it, so you know that wasn't me. <laughs> Check the calendar, dude. Oh, it's May 1st. It's gonna be May. I like dicks. Okay, I perfect. Like Cunt. <laughs> All right, Teff, what were you saying? You like this movie? Yeah, I loved it. I thought it was great. I can't wait to see it again. All right, so I can just is, go see this. I you you could, either. but there's a handful of movies you should... If if you saw beforehand, you would enjoy it more. I, that's what I'm saying. Wh which one? Like, Well, you're not going to be excited to see some of the characters, right? Like when the characters come on screen and you go, Oh my God, the Star-Lord is here. Oh no, it's the magical V-Lady. Exactly. Whatever. You got to see Fucking. the movie to Did they do like... a Silver Surfer movie? <laughs> no. They haven't. I mean, they have a long time ago they did. <laughs> yeah. Was it not... shit? It's been some time. The Fantastic Four are not part of this Marvel universe. Well, the Silver Surfer's not in the Fantastic Four. He worked with the Fantastic Four. He's not in the Fantastic Four. No, I know, but he was in that universe. Doesn't matter. Of course it does. It literally relates directly to what I just said. But no, the Fantastic Four are different. So you could do a Silver Surfer movie without them. It's like saying the, the Hulk and Spider-Man. You could just do one of those. You could, but they they work together, and so this is this is all the superheroes coming together. But did they? No, no. But did they do like a Silver Surfer movie where he kind of no, comes? No, I just told you that. But why not? Nobody on cares a about the Silver space? Surfer. Silver Surfer is so stupid. Why he is. surf? He's wearing silver. He's I always hated the Silver Surfer. Why? Lame. He's, yeah, he's lame. He surfs. That's cool. Would he surf in space? He would. <laughs> Fuck yeah, <laughs> surfing in space. That's <laughs> on a fucking a big thing. joint. Hey, wait a minute. That movie poster with the Silver Surfer on it, right there. Good. No, that's a comic book. <laughs> that's different. Uh, down one row. Over. There you go. Right there. Okay, that doesn't. That can't be a comic book too. No. Ooh, it is. It's clearly a poster. No, it's not clearly a poster. <laughs> what yeah, is that? But what does that say? What movie but, is but that? But that could be a movie poster too. Sure. You said it was old. Fantastic Four: Rise well, of the Silver Surfer. Well, oh. But he's still. I'm saying he's not one of those four. They could do a movie about him as a comic book by himself. Yeah, he doesn't need the rest of the Fantastic Four. No, but I mean he's, he's a he, strong enough character on his own. There was a Silver Surfer comic book that was just him. It wasn't them. Weird yeah. that they have an option to. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> I mean, what would he do? He would surf. He would. He would take a silver surfboard, and he was also silver. Can we see what he looks like uh, in the movie. In the Fantastic Four movie? Yeah, like, what was his <laughs> thing? I don't remember him. I remember the Silver Surfer. I just don't remember what the fuck he, he did. He was a silver man that could surf in space. Is that really all he could do? Yeah, that was the extent of his powers. Well, yeah. probably, I bet if meteors came, he could probably punch them and they break. That's fucking pretty cool. <laughs> I'd like to punch a meteor. You would? Yeah. Just watch it go, what would it sound like if you're punching a meteor? <laughs> I would just jump, like, I would, I'd be like, and then grab it, like, <laughs> <laughs> Someone told me that that was really bothering them. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Johnny Torch. There he is. Yeah, that's right. The Ugh. Human Torch. There's a Silver Surfer high above the Earth. I mean, it really is a character Thing. that ship would create. Fuck guy, yeah! Guy who surfs in space and hits meteors. This doesn't look like a good fucking movie. Fucking Silver. <laughs> Fuck yeah, I'm Silver Surfing. These movies are so bad. This is the Fantastic Four. Oh my god, that looks bad. Terrible. Maybe ah. it's. Yeah. So they oh, took yeah. a photo with them. Yes, I did. I put my hairy armpit on your shoulder. <laughs> Sweaty. So they basically created the Marvel Universe right after this movie with one of the guys from this movie to play Captain America. Oh, was he in this? Didn't I just see him? Chris I thought Evans? I just saw Chris Evans. That's Michael Checklist. Oh, I always get those two confused. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes, you are you're seeing the commish. Right. Right. This That's not look, Chris Evans is not the commish? No. This does not look Shit. good. 
this Fantastic Four movie does not look good. You don't think so? No. Look at him. Look at him. Even the graphics those, for that are not good. Do you see what he's doing with the missiles, though? He's riding around him. Was it? No, he was slapping him out of the way. Oh, I didn't notice. Yeah, well, you know what it sounded like? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I had an altercation yesterday. With who? Some fucking dude on the train. What? Tell me. I grabbed that. him. I was like, what the fuck are you saying? I'm doing against Whoa. the wall. And I fucking, I was like. <laughs> Oh, did you kill him? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool, man. Yeah. I didn't read about that. Yeah, you killed the guy the, with your... Yeah, my bare hands. Punched him. But just because he said something to you? <laughs> yeah, he dissed me. Wow. Are you going to so you gonna try to see this Avengers movie? You should see Black Panther first. Wakanda forever. Yeah, you should see Black Panther. Okay. You should see Guardians. Yeah, what do you think? I don't care about Guardians. Isn't that that little... What was the, what's the little creature in that shit movie? I Am Groot? Rocket Raccoon? Ugh, fuck Rocky Raccoon. What about rocket, I, not Rocky Raccoon. Oh, whatever, Rocket hey. Raccoon. Can I tell you the truth? Hey. When you just said, <laughs> Hey, I'm going to space. <laughs> hey, <laughs> he threw the fucking turkey out the window. Hey, <laughs> threw it out the window. When you said Rocky Raccoon just now, I was like, yeah, I think that's what it's called. I don't know. Yeah, I don't either. I don't know. Oh, whatever his name, Rocket do you, Raccoon. Do you think Jim has to see the first of each series? You should see the Avengers. You should see the, the Winter first S Avengers. Yeah, you should see the Avengers. You should see Captain America: Winter Soldier. Oh my gosh, so much homework. No, no, you don't have to. But that's what I'm saying. Like, you don't have to. I don't care about any of it. But it would be better. Not Winter either. Soldier. Yeah, Winter Soldier is great. No, it's not. Some guy with a fucking. Yes, it is. Is that the first Captain America? No, that's the second one. Oh. What's the first one? The birth of Captain America? Yeah, Captain yeah. America born. Isn't fresh out World War Two? It's Captain America fresh out the womb. <laughs> what year are the rest of these things taking place? Isn't Captain America World War Two? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So why is he still around? Because oh. he's frozen. <laughs> oh, Jim. That's the winter. Oh. No. So we get cold. Big deal. No, the Winter Soldier is not Captain America. With that referencing winter the fact that it's cold out, Captain who America? cares? No. Gives a fuck. Oh. Why not? I explain all this shit to you. Rob's laughing. Oh, how to you. watch every every Marvel comic universe film and TV show in chronological order. Okay. <laughs> so you think it has to do? Yeah. I mean, I you definitely guys, would yeah. not Jim suggest. Goes, <laughs> okay. All right. So that's what I'll do then. Yeah, I'm OCD. Hey, you're going to do the series as well? Oh, yeah. The TV shows? Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. So let's 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 schedule out Jim's next yep. four years <laughs> of TV watching. Now, are you going to try to see this one, uh, this movie while it's still in theaters? Yeah. Okay. All right. So you start with Captain America, the first Avenger. Travis, you're saying that's not a good one, though. The first Avenger. Yeah, you, said not... you said Winter Soldier was the good one. I said Winter Soldier's great because Jim <laughs> said Winter Soldier sounds like it sucks. Oh, my God. So no, the first Avenger's good. See that. Are there any bad Marvel movies? Yeah. Which one? Thor 2. I heard that was not good. Thor 1. Both the Thors. Iron Man 2. Is that bad? Hulk. Yeah, they're just, yeah. I mean, okay. you can easily never watch them. Okay, but after you watch Captain America, the first Avenger, yep. then you've got to watch Agent Carter seasons one and two. <laughs> I mean, how okay. many episodes is that? Like three or four? I or? don't watch any of the TV shows. Did you watch uh, uh, Agent Carter, Rob? <laughs> No, even you didn't watch. You love TV. Rob loves TV. Okay, but you are going to watch both seasons of Agent Carter. Yeah, yeah you will. I'll rewatch yeah. them just to catch you up to speed. Yeah. <laughs> okay, then after you watch seasons one and two of Agent Carter, what's Iron Man three DVD? Agent well, Carter one shot. A Iron Man three it's, DVD. It's a bonus feature on the Iron Man three DVD. Oh. So you're going to watch that? Yeah, to catch up. Just to catch the. But you don't watch the movie. You just watch the. You don't the, want to uh, be bonus on the loop. Feature. Yeah. Well, you you will eventually watch the movie, but not. In, this is the order. Do you watch the bonus feature first? Will you watch Agent Carter one shot from the Iron Man three DVD? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you'll do that. Yeah. Okay. Then you watch Iron Man, mm -hmm. which is good. I like Iron Man. Iron Man's great. Yeah. Then you watch Iron Man two. Yeah. Mm. Then you watch the Incredible Hulk. Okay. Mm. Then you watch The Consultant, which is a one-shot available on the Thor DVD. Extras. It's on the extras, okay. yeah. <laughs> did you watch? Did you guys watch The Consultant? Um, no. And you were still able to follow the new Avengers movie? Maybe that's where I got confused. Okay. Okay. Okay, well, Jim, you won't There are parts where I'm like, what? Funny thing happened on the way to Thor's Hammer. So one-shot Captain America First Avenger DVD. So you've already watched Captain America First Avenger. Now, so after watching those extras. other movies, you go to the extras, you find... Sure. A funny thing happened on the way to Thor's hammer. Then watch Thor. Then, then the after Avengers. that, you watch Thor. Then you can watch the Avengers. Which is a good one. Then you take your Avengers DVD, look for item 47, which is a one-shot on the Avengers DVD, and that'll take you through phase one. Yes. Now, phase two, things play out in release order, except Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 comes directly after the first Guardians, meaning the movie has been moved into phase two, despite being a phase three release. That's okay, true. well, let's yep. take a look, then. Let's scroll down. 
And let's see. Okay, this is phase two. You start with Iron Man 3. Oh, great movie. You like Iron Man 3, but not Iron two. Man 3? Yeah, Iron Man 3 is great. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Then you take your DVD of Thor 2. You do not watch the film. Yeah. But you watch All Hail the King. One shot from th- what is what is all these one shots on these DVDs? That's probably to get you to buy the DVD. What is a one shot? I'm pretty sure the 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 extra scenes at the end of the movies. Now, did, are they on the DVD as solo things, or do you have to fast forward to the end of the movie? I'm guessing they're on the DVD as a solo. I'm going to say fast forward to the end of the movie. Okay, <laughs> so go back to the list. I wonder if that's an iTunes extra. I hope so. So, so from now on to get these one shots, we'll fast forward. So we'll go on <clears throat> Thor: The Dark World, and we'll fast forward to the end of the movie. Do not watch the movie yet. Of course not. Right. You have to watch the. You just go to the end of the movie. You just was it a DVD extra? You go to I the end know. of the movie. It's after the credits, <clears throat> just okay. to make sure. Then you watch the first seven episodes of Agents of Shield. Cool. Okay. So you ready for that? Sure. Then you watch the sequel to Thor. <clears throat> then you the watch. The Dark World. Right. Then you watch the next eight episodes of Agents <laughs> of Shield. Season one. Episodes 8 through 16. Have you watched episodes 8 through 16, Rob? No. Okay, so you don't know any any clue about this universe. Okay, then you watch Captain America the Winter Soldier. Which is the sequel. Great Travis movie. loves that one. He jerks that's off a, to it. Yeah, he does. Because he thinks he sees himself as a winter soldier. <laughs> oh. What does that mean? Yeah. Instead of a summer flop. <laughs> right. <laughs> Good news, Jim. <laughs> Season one of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is not done yet. Good. <laughs> because after Captain America the Winter Soldier, you watch episodes 17 through 22 of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Okay, fine. Okay, so you'll do that. <laughs> Network TV. On Network TV, Absol- right. Perfect. Then you'll watch Guardians of Galaxy, Volume Guardian 1. Guardian of the Galaxy. Guardians, oh, Guardians of the Galaxy, okay. you idiots. I, I right, see both myself of us, as Both Guardian. of us sound stupid. Yeah, we do. Great and, movie. And then you watch the sequel, right Guardians after, of the both, Galaxy. Yes. Another great movie. One great. after the other. Then where? Then, the entire first season of Daredevil. Okay. Is that available on Netflix? Yes. Love I'll that go to one, Daredevil Rob? season Love one. Love that one. That okay, great. That one was awesome. I see myself kind of as a Daredevil. I'm glad I'm just done with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. though. Enough <laughs> with that dumb no, show. Yeah, that's what? actually, you finished the first season? Yeah. Right after you watch, right after you watch Daredevil season one, you have to watch episodes uh, one through 19 of season two of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. <laughs> so that's not, not the whole season two, yeah. just the first 19 episodes. Where's Spider-Man? He hasn't come in yet. Okay. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, you actually have to go through all this. Yeah, you got to go in order. We Jim. haven't gotten to Spider Man yet. Oh, these are way back. Okay, okay. Yeah, so and we now... haven't gotten to Spider Man yet. So then you watch event this the sequel to Avengers: Age of Ultron. That's no good. No. Okay, Rob goes. Eh. Travis goes. No. Okay. We'll give it one thumb and a half, one thumb down. Okay. Then you finish up with season two of Agents of Shield. <laughs> Episodes 20 through 22. Okay. <laughs> right? So, yep. so that way you round it out. Then you watch the Paul Rudd vehicle, Ant-Man. What's that? Is that a superhero with Twitter? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's going to stop the evil. Well, <clears throat> don't worry about who he's going to stop. <laughs> then, after you watch Ant-Man, the film, <laughs> you'll watch the entire first season of Jessica Jones and the entire second season of Daredevil. Then you will turn on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. <laughs> and watch the first 19 episodes of season three. So, two full seasons and then one group of 19 shows. This is going to take me four or five days. <laughs> okay, all right. And But at that point, you're done with phase two. Okay. Out of the three phases. Are you ready for phase three? Yep. Okay. <laughs> You'll start by watching Captain America Civil War. Great Good. movie. That's great? Yeah. If, if you're going to watch anything before you go see Infinity War, you, got, you should watch Civil War. Okay. 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 Oh, Agents then... of S.H.I.E.L.D. again. This... <laughs> oh, my God. There's so many. Then you watch episodes 20 through 22 of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Is it Shield. a good show? I've oh. never watched an episode. Okay. And then Luke Cage season one. The whole first season. Yeah. Then Doctor Strange. Okay. Awesome. Great. Oh, then you get a nice treat. <laughs> you get to watch episodes one through eight, the first eight episodes of season four of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Who knew there were four seasons? People. Huh, not me. Nope, me neither. Then there's a, oh my God. Then there was a series called Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Slingshot, which is just on the web. So you watch that whole series. <laughs> How many is that? Then, <laughs> How many is that? Then you watch episodes oh, nine. Oh, for <laughs> fuck Christ. Nine through 22. So the next 12 episodes of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is a 60-minute <sighs> show that you have now uh, 
You've now uh, committed to 88 episodes of. It's 88 hours. <laughs> if you knock out those commercials, that's like 43 minutes. Plus the that's web nothing. series. The web series might actually make yeah, up for the commercials. Quick. Yeah. 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 Then, oh, great. <laughs> after you're done with season four of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., I've never even heard of this show. You watch Iron Fist season one. Ah, uh, that one sucked. Oh, sorry, dude. Great. Yeah. But you're never going to get this movie if you don't watch I have to watch the it. first <laughs> season of Iron Fist. Okay. Is Iron, does Iron Fist make an appearance in the film? <laughs> nope. No spoilers. Oh, sorry, no Come spoilers. on, Rob. God ah, damn. What, what? Like the big Iron Fist fan is getting ready to go to the movies? That's right. Then, oh, this is a big one, too. Then you watch the season one of The Defenders. It was okay. What is that? It's Iron Fist, Jessica Jones, <laughs> Daredevil, and Luke Cage all together. None of those are in any of the Is it on movies. Netflix? It's on Netflix. Yeah, it's a Netflix okay, series. Okay, so you'll check that out. Okay. Then, mm -hmm. then, you get to Spider-Man. Spider-Man Homecoming. You get to watch Spider-Man Where's the other Spider-Mans? Those aren't in the Marvel Universe. No. Those technically, are Sony technically Spider-Man, I believe, makes his debut in Civil War. Is that Correct. right? Yeah. Right. Is he in the movie? He's in Civil War. Okay. Yeah. And then you get to watch Spider-Man Homecoming, which is... To my surprise, I watched it. I Very really good. enjoyed that movie because it was a continuation wow. of Civil War. You don't need to watch another goddamn movie about how a kid got bit by a yeah, spider. Yeah, they don't, they don't do any of that. I'm so know. sick of the reboots of that dumb story. We no. get it. They don't oh. do any of it. Marissa Tomei's in it. Right. Yeah. Oh! And then Marissa he uses his path attraction and he shoots <laughs> his web. And the web helps him hang on to the building. So I said, Vinny, use your path attraction. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like you're talking about pause attraction. <laughs> uh, enough already, pause attraction. She's so good in that movie. No. Once you no. Get, it's, once like, you... it's like something you'd put in your fucking singles uh, profile on Grinder. <laughs> 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 once you get through Spider Man Homecoming, I know what. You have to watch Inhumans, The Punisher, and Runaways, season one of each show. So it's three season ones, right? Yeah, I haven't watched Inhumans, but uh, the pun <laughs> the Punisher was awesome. Oh, good. <laughs> Runaway was poo poo. Oh, not great. Okay, then, then you can get to Black Panther, which great. is great. Black Panther was awesome. Wakanda forever. Wakanda forever. After that, you have to dive uh, into season two of Jessica Jones, uh, which sucked with her. Okay. Right. Rob, you've seen all these, huh? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You Rob, love this. Stuff. I love this stuff. Rob oh. loves TV. <laughs> Look what you do after Jessica Jones season two. Oh my Season five. Fucking cunt. <laughs> the first 14 episodes. God damn it. Of season five of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Mother's cunt. So, so you're committed to another 14 episodes. Why wouldn't I be? One through 14. Right. Then Cloak and Dagger season one, which I don't know what that is. Do you watch that, Rob? Cloak and Dagger? No. Okay, well, you probably are not going to get this movie. I remember then. them from comic books, but I haven't seen the show. Then Thor Ragnarok. Great movie. That was good. That was the third Thor. Yeah, yeah. that was know, great. I didn't even know they Very made it. Very funny. Awesome. Yeah. Then, then Jim. Jeff Goldblum's in it. That's when you go see Avengers: Infinity. War. All right, so this is nine days worth of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it says that nine days worth of stuff, so I can go in ten days. It took nine days to read it. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> there you go. And you'll be all ready. Okay. They were taking great pride in it. They were like, hey, to everybody who's saying there's no, not enough backstory for Avengers Infinity War, take a look at this. And they showed all 18 movie posters. Rob, you've seen most of this stuff. Yeah. Have you seen all the films? Yes. You saw all 18 movies. I'm almost positive I have. I don't think I've missed one. It's not I mean, that hard. It's over 10 years. Yeah. How about the X-Men? Yeah, I love the X-Men. That's not part of this universe, But that's not bro. part of the universe because uh, Sony and Fox and Marvel oh. all have this. Yeah, it's stupid. That's awesome. not part of the Marvel universe. Oh, yeah, they are, you are forgetting one. Go ahead, Jim in New Jersey. <laughs> What's up, Jim? Hey, uh, I was wondering when Grocery Man was going to make an appearance in Infinity War, but I was kind of disappointed he did it. Grocery Man, they're afraid, would outshine everybody. Uh, saving people from their groceries falling on the ground. Grocery <laughs> Man was a big hit. No, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah, Grocery Man 2, Wilted Lettuce, <laughs> is what they're working on now. <laughs> is that when instead of going after falling groceries, he's going after groceries that are maybe a day or two past expiration? He checks expiration dates and yeah. he flies in and he takes the wilted lettuce and he flies it to the ocean and drops it in the ocean. So he can fly. Of course he can. And he's using he has a green cape with a G on it. He's using that power to help people go grocery shopping. Yes, but he flies it like all the wilted lettuce. He flies it to the ocean. He drops it like nuclear weapons. Right. He didn't think to do more with his ability to fly. 
No, <laughs> no. He was actually criticized in one of the uh, in one of the films. What did he, what was said about him? Because there was there was a there was kind of a there was, there was a murder and a rape taking place, right. and he flew over to get spoiled milk. Well, that's his. And job. he didn't alert the police or anything. He didn't. No, he didn't even call or. No, he didn't care. No, nothing. He's no. just there for the groceries. Because he says, "Yeah, that's a bad thing, but if somebody drinks spoiled milk." Then all of a sudden they don't show up for work. If you don't show up for work, there's a domino effect. Was was the rape happening in the grocery store? No, it was just in, on the ground on his way. Okay, so and there's a murder too. It w- and a murder, murder so, rape. Yeah, but it wasn't technically within his jurisdiction. Right, so he just didn't care. He didn't let anybody know. If there had been a murder rape in the grocery store, would oh, he have stopped it? Only if they were knocking groceries off the shelves, he would <laughs> save the groceries. He would save the groceries from falling to the ground. Does he not think to himself, as much as people might miss work because of spoiled milk, they may also miss work because of uh, being murdered or raped? I yes. think rape victims do miss work sometimes. They, they really do. Um, but no, he's concerned with you. You can only fight so many battles. Right. Like people in PETA aren't doing a bunch of other things. They're just fighting in PETA. So that's kind of how it is. So he lets any crime. It could, be a, it could just be, a, it could be an armed robbery. He flies right over it. You know what's sad? Grocery Man would actually fit into the Justice League, that dog shit movie. He would. It's just terrible. Saving groceries. The Justice Grocery Man 2, Wilted Lettuce, yeah. people thought was a little long. How it long came was- in just under four hours. Oh, my God. <laughs> and people thought... It's like Once Upon a Time in America. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the people thought that was a little long because two hours and 40 minutes were just close-ups of the lettuce wilted in, in his hand, like him examining it. <laughs> <laughs> Does he have some kind of lettuce cave? Like no, a- he just draws and drops it in the ocean. But that was two hours and 40 minutes of a film that came in just under four hours. Of just him examining lettuce. To, him to, examining it, yeah. Is that to figure out if it's wilted or not? Yep. I see. Yep. Now, is that a combined uh, total of, of, of time? Or- no, it's a montage. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and they're playing Take It to the Limit by Scarface over and over. The whole time? Wait, wait, wait. wait. So this isn't two hours, 40 minutes, like, th- throughout the movie. It's a this- montage. It's one two hour and forty minute montage of him. Right after the credits. Opening credits? Yeah. Oh, the opening credits is um, <laughs> he wakes up out of a he's in bed, right? And he gets out of bed and he's wearing his grocery man clothes. He sleeps in them. I see. And he says, uh, I gotta go check the lettuce. Right. That's and then he flies price. there over the uh, over over the attack and the murder and he uh, lands in the grocery store and then the credits are finished and he's just going through it's a montage. Take me to the limit. <laughs> Yeah, right. and he's just examining. This is two hours and forty minutes. I see. And he's examining. <laughs> and do they just do they just loop the song? Yep. Now, it's just this part. Oh, just this, this part. No, so it's just the intro. Yeah. Now they stop it. It's, it's... So you must hear that that one yep. part that goes Da-da-da! in the beginning of the A song. Bunch, yep. Where he goes. Da-da-da! Yep. That comes in every Him like, examining wilted lettuce. That comes in every ten seconds for two hours and forty minutes. Yeah, and then at the end. And then at the end, he fly, like, after two hours and 40 minutes, he flies it to the uh, ocean and drops it in the center of the ocean. Because he realizes it is indeed well then. Yeah, and then he hears, oh no! And an old lady has dropped her honey jar. Okay. And does he pick it up? or? Yes. I see, okay. It's in China. Oh, so he hears grocery stores throughout the world. He flies over the really quickly around the planet. He can do that? And he flies through her window and he grabs the honey jar before it hits the ground. It seems like he has all the powers of Superman. And he places it up on top of the table. Is this just Superman but in a grocery store? No. That's no. an incredibly uh, quick reflexes. He, he, she, he hears, oh no, but it's in Chinese. And right. so they, they translate, oh no. And then, he, and then in his mind, he hears the whoosh of the honey jar falling. <laughs> he, he flies you know from the center of the ocean to China and he stops it before it hits the what ground. What ocean? It's not just the ocean. The Indian Ocean. Uh, the Indian Ocean? <laughs> yeah. Yes. So, yeah. so, you know who else has uh, reflexes that are that quick and supersonic hearing like that? Who? Superman. Yeah, maybe. It just sounds like Superman in a grocery store, except... This the, is Grocery Man. Except Grocery Man goes to the Indian Ocean to drop off wilted lettuce. And Superman meddles in people's affairs. Right, and Grocery Man does not. No. No, I see. The Justice League was Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, The Flash... And who's that robot guy? Larry. And Larry. Who? Him? The robot man. Cyborg. Yeah, Larry the robot guy. Is that cyb- uh, cyborg? Cyborg, cyborg, yeah. Flash, Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman. League. It was not good. Aquaman. I loved it. Wonder Woman was amazing. Who's yeah. the guy in the beard in the back? He looks stupid. That's Aquaman. That's Aquaman. Aquaman's not a beard. He's supposed to have a fucking blonde hair. He doesn't have a beard. No, no that's sexy Aquaman. Yeah, it's, uh, Jason Momoa is sexy Aquaman. And he is hella sexy. Let me see Aquaman. He's the one that's in that new meme, right? Yeah. With Henry, uh, whatever his name is. I think so. It's a great meme. Look how fucking sexy that dude. Plus, it's not sexy. He's a fuck. He looks fat. Super sexy. No, he looks most, like fat Aquaman. Most of the movie he's got no <laughs> shirt on. Oh, he's a fucking dumb Look Aquaman. Yeah, he looks fat there. Come on. No, he looks too buff. 
You think so? He's t- honestly, that doesn't look like Aquaman. It looks like fucking Gentle Ben's friend. No such thing as Grizzly buff. Adams. You don't What's- like you don't like your Aquaman being that buff. Show me the original comic book Aqu- Aquaman with his fucking blonde Wait, hair. Show me- gay porn star Aquaman. That's the one I like. Vinny Chase played uh, Aquaman like uh, ten or twelve years ago in a yeah, film. Yeah, that's kind of the definitive Aquaman. Yeah, I feel. Although Jason Momoa does have a lot to live up to. There you yeah. go. That's Aquaman. Yeah, he's a blonde-haired guy in the water, big green forearms. Jim just likes, like, Fabio romance novels. Yep. I like the comic book to look like the comic book. Right. They made him look different. How come a Superman doesn't have a beard? There well, you go. There's Aquaman. He had a mustache. Bam, ba, 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 ba. Superman comes out. He's got fucking a gray ponytail. He's like, what a <laughs> douche. <laughs> they changed Batman. They put nipples on the suit at one point. Yeah, I guess they did. You don't mind that? A nice shiny leathery suit no, with nipples Morgan, on it? Morgan Freeman. Did you hear that Morgan Freeman, they said, was having a sexual relationship with his step-granddaughter? I did hear that. Is that true? I, I mean, don't know, that but I came out years that. ago. I did. You did, Yes, right? yes, somebody said that. Yeah, I don't I don't know. Remember, didn't he, his daughter got into porn, the right? Gr- the gr- I didn't know no, that. That was Lawrence Fishburne. The Lawrence Fishburne. Oh, that was Montana Fishburne. Sorry, Fishburne. shit. No, he, this um... Either a Me Too or a racial moment No, or no, no, no. Morgan Freeman's granddaughter was murdered. Uh, his his, his step granddaughter, but they said that there was some kind of a weird, like her boyfriend killed her, I guess, over some right. That's that was drunken the story. thing, yes. Yes. and they so were he's sending on trial for it. He's on trial. Maybe he didn't do it. Yeah, we have to say he's accused of it. Don't you do a uh, uh, what's it called impression? A Morgan Freeman yeah, impression? Yeah, I, I do. Like, how would he announce to his family? He's actually doing the grocery man uh, <laughs> voiceover. How, well, how would he describe grocery man going to the Indian? And he ocean? would spend all day looking through wilted lettuce. So those are the words. How would Morgan Freeman say? That's how you do it. Oh, geez. And he would scroll head of lettuce after head of lettuce after head of lettuce looking for wilted parts. And then he doesn't say anything. <laughs> the what of, the, an the hour rest. and 25 minutes. Oh, my God. So, and then take it to the limit starts. No, no, that, that, no. <laughs> take it to the limits under the voiceover. Oh. And then he, he does that voiceover, and then it's like an hour and 40 minutes of no talking, just the, vo- there's just the take it to the limits, looking through the uh, wilted uh, lettuce. I meant 40 minutes. I, I meant two for sorry. Yeah. Uh, no, an hour and 40, and then Morgan Freeman comes back in. Uh-huh. Morgan Freeman still... narrates for an hour. No, no, he doesn't say anything for an hour. He comes back in, and he says, and he'd still never get tired, no matter how many wilted lettuce heads he found. And so then it's quiet again for another hour. He's doing this directly in the style of Shawshank Redemption. Yes, he is. Yes. And, and, and uh, the uh, March, March of the Penguins. Of the Penguins. Yeah. And then at the end, does he go, and then he found the wilted lettuce? No, or they no? just don't bring him back. He just doesn't come back That's for all. the rest of the film. Mm, at one point he does. When? Oh, yeah, you wrote this thing. You know, I, but it's been a while. Yeah, when, no, no, when, no. When, uh, yeah, don't forget it, Sam. It's a four-hour movie. You can't remember it all. That's true. That. That's true. Oh, I know. And when he, when he, when he goes to China yeah. and he catches the jar, Morgan says, uh, and another tumble in honey jar is saved. But that's the first honey jar in the <laughs> yes, film. Yes, it is. Well, he means in history. There's a lot of them. <laughs> that hasn't been set up earlier. Well, there's no need to, to shit on it. It was a hit film. <laughs> 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 no need to shit. <laughs> well, Sam, there's no need to nitpick. Yeah. It, was, it, was a, it was a hugely successful. Yeah, he was just saying picture. overall. His granddaughter oh, was fucking sexy too. Well, yeah, step granddaughter. Yes, step. Well, step still, you know. Yeah, 